Internal combustion engines require intake and exhaust valves to allow air fuel into the cylinder and later eject the burn gases out to the exhaust manifold. Years ago, the engine valves had a fixed opening timing, depth amount, and duration. The drawback was that not all engine conditions require the same valve settings, so compromises had to be made across all the operating range. Nowadays, with variable valve technology, this limitation has been eliminated resulting in overall improvement in horsepower, fuel economy, and emissions. As camshafts rotate, they use lobes to push down against valves to open them. Therefore, the lobe shape and position play a crucial role in the engine's characteristics. Variable valve timing, or VVT, enables us to change the valve opening and closing time. There are several methods to achieve it, but the overall idea is to shift the camshaft independently from the crankshaft. A popular method is by means of oil pressure. These VVT mechanisms have several chambers separated in the middle. The ECU can fill or drain either side using an oil control valve to advance or retard valve timing. But why would you want to do this? Let's name a few examples. Closing the intake valve blade is a strategy used to regulate the amount of air in the cylinder. As the piston moves up on the compression stroke, some of the fresh mixture gets pushed back into the intake manifold. The result is better fuel economy, cooler combustion, and less NOx emissions. The hotter the gas temperature, the faster the NOx rate formation. Therefore, lowering combustion temperature is an effective NOx reduction strategy. If you open the intake valve early, some of the burn products are forced back into the intake manifold during the exhaust stroke. Since you dilute the next charge of air with inert gases, it also results in lower combustion temperature and decreased NOx emissions. This technique has the same effect as vehicles equipped with an exhaust gas recirculation system, or EGR, where the burnt gases get rerouted from the exhaust system into the intake manifold through a pipe. Closing the intake valve early reduces pumping losses associated with low engine speed, low load conditions such as idle. During high vacuum, air fuel demand is low and work required to fill the cylinder is high. Therefore, when the cylinder has pulled enough air to keep the engine running, the valve can be closed to prevent unnecessary work. Closing the exhaust valve early is another method to lower NOx emissions and improve fuel economy by preventing all the inert gases from exiting the chamber. This creates a temporary smaller cylinder that consumes less air fuel on the following cycles and produces lower gas temperatures. Finally, closing the exhaust valve blade produces the best horsepower by allowing more time for the combustion gases to completely exit the chamber. This sets an empty chamber for the next intake stroke, maximizing the fresh air fuel charge. Moving on, variable valve lift, or VVL, is used to control the valve travel or opening. This is achieved by changing between lobes of different heights and is almost exclusively used for increasing horsepower at high low condition. The advantage of opening the exhaust valve more is reduced effort to eject the burn gases out of the cylinder, whereas opening the intake valve further makes it easier to pull extra air when the torque request is high. The last type of variable valve technology is designed to adjust opening duration. During heavy pedal application, changing to a wider lobe on the intake camshaft means the valve opens sooner and closes later, translating in more air and more power. This approach, in conjunction with VVL, is commonly used on Honda's VTEC system. And that's it for today. See you guys next time.